All right, guys, so what was the answer for question B? Three. Let's go ahead and check it out. First of all, did you guys find any symmetry in this molecule? Actually, yes. This is a molecule with a plane of symmetry down the middle. That means that whatever conclusion I make, let's say, about this carbon over here, also applies to the one across from it, meaning that if you are able to identify the amount of unique hydrogens on one side of that dotted line, the same exact thing applies to the other side, so you don't even count the ones on the other side, okay? So for example, I noticed that this one is on a double bond, so I'm going to make this as hydrogen type A. Then I notice that these hydrogens are on an alkane, a, a regular sp3 hybridized carbon. That's going to be another type of hydrogen. Now I also notice that there's this carbon here. I'm wondering, did you guys give that a signal or not? Actually, this carbon doesn't even count because that carbon doesn't have any hydrogen. Remember, this is called proton NMR because it only responds to protons. So even though that is a unique position on the molecule, it doesn't have hydrogen, so we don't count it. Then finally, we have over here, we have the hydrogens that are on that one. So that's its own unique place, OK? So we've got those three different signals. Now, would we have to also draw the signals on the other side? No, because this one is also A, this one is also B, and this one is also C. Okay, so that's what you do with a plane of symmetry. It means that any conclusions you have about one side are going to be the same exact ones on the, on the next side, okay? Awesome, so three different ones. Let's go ahead and move on to the next question.